And that is everything you need. Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars McGee YouTube channel. Now, in this video, it's kind of a continuation to a bunch of my other videos. I showed you the products that are good for upgrading, like the pressure washer, the handgun, the hose. This is kind of all the quickness next, everything that you need to convert the hose to go with the whole system. Let's get right into the video. Now, I know there's a lot going on on this table here. There's so many things. So we're definitely going to try to zoom in on the areas as I explain them to make it easier for you to see. So we gotta start somewhere. And where not best to start than the garden hose. We're all gonna have this same setup. The first thing you wanna do is quick disconnects. And I definitely suggest this completely no matter what you do, if you stay completely stock or not. Quick disconnects are just a great way to, to be more efficient and just make things easier on yourself. And they're not expensive. So the first thing you have is you have your mail end, which is going to go on your units. This is the exact same size for both pressure washers. So all this is industry standard the same. So the one from your hose on your female end is gonna accept this. Now coming from your house, you're gonna attach this to your spigot. Then that way you'll be able to connect your hose to your house. And then you'll be able to quick disconnect if you need to move your hose around. Then on this end of the hose where this male end is, you'll have this one right here, and this is the one that you're gonna use on the unit. So let's see if we can handle that right there. And there you go. Now, if you wanna add one level to this, is to add the brass shutoff valve. I believe this is a very important part. This just makes things so much easier, and it's well worth the money. It doesn't cost that much, but you connect your quick disconnect to this end, so you're, you're adding a shutoff between your hose and your pressure washer. Just like this. This allows you to hook your hose up to your unit and turn the water on and off from right here without walking to your spigot. You can stay next to the unit and if you wanna take this off to quickly fill up a bucket, a foam cannon or whatever, you can just shut that off, relieve a little bit of pressure in here and this is just gonna come right off and then you can do whatever you need to do. And then you can add these type of quick disconnects to a hose end sprayer, a bucket filler, or whatever you need to make just this, this so much easier. That's what quick connects are for, it's just amazing stuff. Once you get done with your garden hose, this is when things get different. Now we're gonna hook the hose up to the pressure washer. Now, if you're using your stock hose, you're not gonna have a problem. This fitting is made specifically for this right here, 15 millimeter. Same as this one here, it's a 14 millimeter that would go to this unit. So at that point, there's nothing you need to do different. You can just connect them if you're gonna to continue to use the stock hose. Now, if you're gonna to upgrade to an aftermarket hose like this one, this is the way the majority of them come. Three inch, inch female quick disconnect on one side already installed and a three inch, inch male on the other side already installed. These are not permanent to the hose on most everyone that I've ever seen. The hose itself has two 3 8 inch NPT threads at the end, and these fittings were put on by the pressure, hose, pressure washer hose company. Now, if they don't have them, this is easy for you because you can pick the exact disconnects you need, and you don't have to spend forever trying to disconnect this fitting, which is torqued down and locked tight. So you're gonna need some wrenches with a lot of leverage to be able to get that off to add the quick disconnect I'm about to show you here in a little bit. The way to hook it into the unit is to use this 3 8 inch Quick disconnect is already a part of the setup for the hose. Now, to accept that, you need a 3 8 inch male on your unit, and you have the M22 thread. So you have a fitting like this, 15 millimeter and 14 millimeter, and I'll show you the difference. 14 millimeter will fit both, no problem. But try to put a 14 millimeter in a 15 millimeter slot, you can hear how loose it is. When you turn that water on, water everywhere. Now, you put a 15 millimeter in there, and you can see that it's not as bad. It's a, a lot sturdier, and it fits better, and it's not gonna leak. Now, when you try the 15 millimeter, it's not going to fit on the 14 millimeter end. It'll slowly sit in the very beginning, but it can't screw down any further, it's stuck because it can't fit in that hole. It's one millimeter too big. So the 14 millimeter 
fits, if I can push it down just a little bit, 14 millimeter fits on the end and continues to screw down, no problem. So you're gonna be able to take your three inches hose and quick disconnect it to the back of the pressure washer, just like that. Or you switch to this one, same. So once you get over this fitting size, if you're doing a full on upgrade, this is the only difference. Everything else from here on out will be the same for both setups. Unless you decide to continue to use the stock gun, but with a new upgraded hose. So let's go to that. So to the next level. Say you want to keep the stock gun because you're replacing the hose and you're doing things over time because it's very expensive to do it once. Or you just like the stock gun for some reason. Well, basically, the bottom of the gun is going to be a thread, an M22, just like your pressure washer. And now your pressure washer and your gun that came with it are both going to be the same size. So if you have a 15 millimeter pressure washer, you're going to need a M22 15 millimeter for the gun. 14 millimeter, same way. So you, at this point, you are two fittings deep on the hookup from the pressure washer. Two of these. So since both the stock gun and the upgraded gun that you most likely might get in the future, or if you don't already have, like the SGS-28, already has the male fitting at the bottom. Most of them already have it, some of them don't. So here comes the fun part. Almost every single one of these hoses has a female quick disconnect in and a male in. These are 3 h inch. If they don't have these, more than likely they're gonna have the three inch inch threading. This is NPT threading and it's going to be male on both sides. So you guys should get to decide what you're going to attach and you don't have to mess with these. But if they come already with them on there, which most of the high end good ones do, you're going to have to untorque this piece. This male piece is loctited and really locked down here. So you're going to need some really good wrenches or a vice, vice grips to unlock and untorque this to where you can take it off. And once you do that, you have a 3 h inch female quick disconnect with a 3 h inch NPT female end. That's gonna screw right onto the 3 h inch NPT male end, just like that. Now you have the hose exactly where you want it. Now you could go to a garage and buy one of the really expensive hoses where they've already done this for you. But if you're trying to save money and you're trying to budget and you're trying to do this a little bit at a time, you can't afford it, you'll be able to convert your hose. Now you already have this hooked up to your pressure washer. You have your male ends on your guns and you have a female end to connect them to. And that is everything you need. So let's just say your upgrade path is leading you to upgrade the water gun, but you don't want to upgrade your hose. Maybe you have the nice high quality one here. The only bad thing about these is they're just not long enough to do the job. Uh, this hose is pretty cool. So you have your 14 millimeter and 15 millimeter like we said earlier. So you're gonna hook it up to your pressure washer just like so. And it'll be the same way for your 14 millimeter. So let's say it's hooked up. So now at the other end, you still got an M22 15 millimeter. So now we have to convert this to work with this gun. So what you're gonna need is something that I had at some point, because I was using it to connect to my pressure gauge to measure PSI of these stock guns. And I can't for the life of me find it but this one is a 14 millimeter. So as you can see, it just won't mix. It's an M22 with a 14 millimeter. Three inch female disconnect on the opposite side. That's gonna get you connected to the gun. Now if you had one that fit, it would work perfect. 15 millimeter, I don't have. Those are available, I've seen them. But if you have the 14 millimeter, put that bad boy in there, I hate this hose, but it's here for the video. Screw that on. And hook up your gun. Just like that. Now you have your whole setup. Now there is another way if you plan on not ever upgrading your pressure washer and you just want the easy way out and you don't want to untorque that hose. If you have the 14 millimeter, this is for you. So it's an M22 on one end and a 3 h inch quick disconnect on the other end. Put that on a 14 millimeter. Do you see it screws in? It also will screw in on a 15 millimeter. And I'm gonna warn you once again, what happens if you put a 14 millimeter on a 15, it works, it screws in, you're gonna get wet. 
So we have it on here, and now we're basically reversing how we use the hose. We have our male end 3 8 inch, and we'll connect it to our pressure washer. Now we have a female end to connect to our gun or connect to this if we use the M22 fitting on the stock gun, we'll be able to hook that right up. Hopefully somebody makes that in a 15 or I find it somewhere. If you found it, please let me know in the comments. I'll for sure add it to the list because like I said, that's a unicorn. If you could do that on a 15, that'd be great. But like I said, I still believe the double female disconnect on the hose is the best way to go overall, just for pure functionality and the ability to be diverse with many different systems. So you want to install a hose reel. So here we've taken off the three inch male quick disconnect and we're left with the male thread of NPT. And we'll get back to that here in a minute. So what you need here is a supply hose. So from your pressure washer, you have your 15 millimeter, 14 millimeter M22. That has not changed. But now we have to supply this to the hose reel. Most hose reels you'll see down here, this is a three inch female MPT. Sometimes it's a male, majority of the time it's a female. At least with this one, it's a female. So on our supply hose here, we have a three inch MPT and a male MPT 3 8 And this one's on a swivel, so it's even nicer. So if you get one like this, this is really good. I'll try to link it below. If you have males on both sides, no big deal. We'll just use a different quick disconnect and we'll get to that in just a second as well. So we're gonna hook up our supply line down here. You're basically just gonna have to straighten hose, straighten hose straight out and then just screw it in, which is, it's not fun because you're basically spinning the hose around. So we'll pretend as if that's torqued down. Now we got that hooked up, let's connect this. So I'm, like I said here, that's a female three inch. I have a quick disconnect, it's a three eighths, male threaded on this side and a female quick disconnect on this side. Connects right in the pressure washer. And you're hooked up supplying the water to your hose reel. Now, if this is a male on both sides, then we have a quick disconnect here that would fit that male right onto the end. I, I can't exactly display that. But also, if possibly this has a male sticking out, you would put this female on that and then this male would connect to this quick disconnect and go right in to your pressure washer. So now for the fun part, we have our three inches male from our hose. We have a three inch female here on the hose reel. Usually there's always a three inch female that's receiving for the hose reel. Depending on the hose reel depends on how this works. Some of them it's hidden inside of an assembly and you just have a, a little piece sticking out right here. Either way, make sure you check if it's powder coated on the inside and you use these threads and you, uh, you might have to de-thread it. You're gonna have little pieces in there. Make sure that you run the hose full for a minute or two without the, the nozzle at the end of the spray gun to get all those little pieces out. Screw it in from this way. So just like the bottom, you're basically screwing the hose in. So as you do this, you are gonna be winding the hose up and it's gonna be a pain in the neck, but this is a one-time thing. And you really can't use quick disconnects here unless you have to get some special elbow quick disconnect because this will go too far out. So we thread it out as much as we can. As you can see, the hose has completely twisted up. So we're gonna have to straighten that out before we feed this through. But now we're to the point where we can just tighten it down completely. You can see we're continuing to twist up the hose because we're spinning against this wheel because it's so heavy and pliable, but that's okay. That should be plenty. But when you get done, you're gonna to wanna to hook all your water up and then do a pressure test and then go back and fix all your fittings that might be loose. So now I'm gonna unravel this. All right, we straightened it out. So now we're gonna take this female end that's on the hose, feed it through and pull it all the way through until we get all the slack out. All right, so we basically have a small loop right here. So let's get this as tight as we can so we can keep as much rope as possible usable. So I've also run into this issue here, but I can go back this way. So now I'm gonna feed the hose through and try to get the best I can get without kinking this right here. So now we could make this even better by turning this in a little bit. Let's see if we can. There we go. So now we have a nice 
bend right here. This isn't affecting water flow. And now we have a nice way to reel it up. If you have a cart with casters, I would strongly recommend locking them down. This hose comes with a rubber guide and this helps really well to kind of hold it down as the hose is coming through so you don't get your hand on the hose and all wet, but also it helps you guide. So we get started. As you can see, it's a little wobbly because I don't have it braced very well at the bottom. Go a little slow until it comes back the other way. And there we go. And I just turn it that way and there we go. Now, how much easier was that than having to do the hose loop on the floor? At some point, you're gonna to wanna to go to a hose rail, whether it's on the wall or it's on a cart. Now, something I didn't mention earlier was on these guns, sometimes they don't come with the fittings on them. Now, I would always buy it with the fittings already installed because they're already turked down for you and the price, you can't beat it. You're getting the fittings for slightly less than what you would have paid for them. It's just a better way to go. But if you don't, at the top, this is usually always a quarter inch female MPT. And on this end, it's a female 3H MPT. So on the bottom, you're gonna need one of these with a male three inch, three inch MPT to screw right in. And now you have your male end at the bottom. Now on this end, you have a quarter inch quick disconnect. That's what you're gonna need to attach anything you want to the spray gun. And like I said before, this is a quarter inch MPT female on the gun. So you're gonna want this unit here. I didn't wanna to untorque this, but it's a quarter inch quick disconnect on one side. And then on the other side, it's a male quarter inch. You always want male and female. I mean, anatomy, get it? That's the way it's named that way. And then you just torque it in. Well, I hope that helped you out with all the different kind of quick disconnects and, and connections and fittings and all that kind of stuff you need, whether you're just gonna do a hose or you're just gonna upgrade your gun or whatever it is. I hope I explained it as much as possible. Now there are some pressure washers out there, like I said before, that they have different connections, but these are the two most common ones. So I really hope it helped you out. Check the links in the description below. I'm gonna to try to chapter this video so you can guys can skip back and forth uh, to what you need if you're just gonna do one specific way. And then hopefully in the description have it listed out whether what you're gonna do or what kind of size fitting you need and then you know everything you need to get it all to work. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Wow. And I got sweating like crazy in this heat. Now, I know many of you like the bloopers at the end. Hopefully there's some at the end of this one, but I'm getting really good at the one takes. So, uh, I know many of you like the bloopers at the end, but I'm having a harder time. <laughs> I know you guys are liking the bloopers. God. There may not be, but there may not be any, okay, there are gonna be bloopers. There may not be, but, <laughs> There's not gonna be that many more bloopers because I'm getting really good at these one takes and not, uh, oh gosh. Just in case, she slammed the dryer. Because, oh my gosh, it's hitting my <laughs> God, that caught me off guard.